<laughs> All right, we are just over two weeks away now from election day. How about it, yeah. Today marks the beginning of early voting, too. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with one of the surprising issues I think that, uh, that inspires a lot of people to cast their ballot. Absolutely, guys. So the Texas Medical Center surveyed 5,000 people across America and found the number one reason people will head to the polls is health care. And it probably comes as no surprise that people in their polls say health care is too expensive and they would vote for someone they believe could help them spend less. But there are three other topics the majority of people say they want their representative to be on board with. Dr. Tim Garson from the Texas Medical Center Health Policy polled thousands of Americans and found the majority of voters will go to the poll for candidates they believe will fix the country's health care system. Republicans, Democrats, Independents all said the most important thing to them was the price of health care. Medicaid expansion has wide bipartisan appeal. In expansion states, more than 74% support continuing coverage for low-income adults. In non-expansion states, 64% support expanding Medicaid to cover more people. You know, you don't hear a lot about the people that already have it and they don't want to lose it. You hear more about the people that don't have it who want it. So the 74% is a big number. While the most surprising issues people want changed aren't even up for debate, nearly half of Americans support lowering the legal blood alcohol limit while driving to 0%. More Texans said they wanted no alcohol in your blood. Now that surprised us. Same thing with tobacco. More than 80% of people don't want tobacco sold to people under 21, and more than half don't want tobacco sold at all. Plus, the majority of people say we need a crackdown on fatty foods. So TMC was shocked to learn that more than half of Texans want more taxes on junk food. But going back to the unsurprising complaints about costs, they found that a lot of people do not pay medical bills in full. What the survey reveals is most Americans want to discuss the cost of medical care with their doctor, but less than 30% actually bring that up to their doctors. But it seems oftentimes the doctors don't know what this particular insurance company is going to be costing. Right. They're not, anyways. They don't know what your insurance is going to right. charge you, so they're n not really very helpful with that a lot of times. Dr. Garson admitted that physicians need to get better at having price discussions in order to help people reduce their cost of health care. You know, it, it, it's not, you know, it, we put it on the politicians, but a lot of times this should start in the doctor's office, according to Dr. Garson. I found if they can get a specialist in in their office as a private practice or a group to get someone who just deals with insurance and explaining yes the ways to huge navigate help. it it's it's very helpful yeah. huge help uh, you know it's a it's a pain to call the insurance mm -hmm. company and do the homework yourself sure is. so yeah it, it's helpful when the doctor's offices yeah. will do that you know if you guys want to see the full breakdown of numbers there's more a lot, a lot more to this survey and it breaks down by what each party is looking for so i've put all of that online it's at click houston.com of course all of my reports are always under the health yeah. section it's always interesting no i don't think anybody really knows what any of this stuff costs like at all any yeah of these procedures. it's I don't a think gamble anybody knows. a lot of times